Hello and welcome to Quality Food Safety 101. This is Arsalan and today we continue our HACCP series. This is ninth video or ninth episode in our HACCP uh, discussion. And today we will talk about hazard analysis. Hazard analysis is the first principle of HACCP and it is the sixth step in the codex logic sequence which we have been discussing in the previous videos. If you have not seen our HACCP series till now, I will leave a link in the description and a card here and you can click on the playlist and look at all the videos which we have discussed. HACCP as you know is a food safety management system and it is essential or a backbone system for any food environment. So let's start with hazard analysis. So hazard analysis, as the name suggests, is all about analyzing the hazards. But there are there is more to it than those two words only. So in this is, uh, stage or in this step of HACCP, there are three significant stages or there are three significant sub portions of hazard analysis. The stage number one or portion number one is about listing all the potential hazards which are there in each process. In the flow diagram, you have listed or made a flow of all the processes. So you list all those processes and in front of each process, you will write down the potential hazards. It can be microbiological, physical, chemical or allergenic hazards based on the scope and term of reference, which we have discussed previously as well. So look at those videos. Once you list the hazard, you have done the stage number one. In the second stage, you will do a proper hazard analysis where you will identify the risk and the severity of each hazard and then determine whether that hazard is significant or not significant. And thirdly, in the third stage, you will write down the potential or existing control measures which will control that hazard and uh, enable the organization to produce safe food. Now, very importantly, control measures are already should be existing in your system through the prerequisite program. More uh, about the control measures will come down in the line in this video. So I will use this table or uh, this uh, animation uh, or illustration to describe to you that how an actual hazard analysis is conducted by an organization. So on your leftmost column, uh, you will in a series, you will write the full list of all the processes which have been identified in the flow diagram. In front of each process, you will write the potential hazards. For example, if you take the example of a, a kitchen or a catering industry and they are receiving food, uh, so at the stage of receiving, there can be multiple hazards. So all the potential hazards are written in front of each stage. So in, in my case or in this case, as an example, I'm writing the hazard of microbiological multiplication. So if the receiving is not done at correct temperature, there is a chance that my existing microorganisms in the raw material will start to multiply during transportation and it's a hazard for us. Another example of a potential hazard at this stage can be contamination. So if the food is not secured properly during transportation, there can be multiple types of contamination which can be physical, chemical and also cross contamination of other food items as well. So all these hazards we have listed here, these are potential hazards. Another example we'll take is uh, just to you know uh, carry the example forward and just to explain to you the proper concept of hazard analysis we'll take another example of this process step of cooking so cooking is a heat treatment so for any heat treatment where you are trying to kill microorganisms one of the most important potential hazard is survival of microorganisms so if we do not cook the food properly the microorganism will survive and then later on can cause food poisoning to the people so that is a potential hazard here. So these two are our, are our example process steps and we will carry these two steps throughout this video and explain to you how hazard analysis happens. So this is the stage number one uh, explained just now that first you list down the processes and in front of each process you list down the potential hazards. So this is the end of the first stage of HACCP where you will list all the potential hazards along with each process steps. 
Now in the second stage, we will discuss about the risk assessment or risk analysis of each hazard. So that will be coming up in the next video. See you in the next video. Please do subscribe to our channel and your support is always most welcome. Thank you. Goodbye for now.